Yeah, with, a, with a, a lovely pussycat sitting in front of me, I wanted to talk about animal communication. I've been wanting to talk about this for some time. And uh, I think what's interesting about it is animals are so pure and unconscious, uh, hence uh, a lovely pussycat scaredy sit, sitting here, um, just so unaware of what's going on, what he's thinking or what he's sensing is something different from what a human would do if they're sitting there. But I think animal communication is something that isn't peculiar just to animals. We can all communicate in an animal sense, and we're all used to communicate in an animal sense. But that was a long time ago. You know, we're talking thousands of years ago, probably, or hundreds of years ago, if you're talking about Romani people. The Romani people thought that if they communicated simply and straightforwardly and directly with an animal, then the animal would understand them. So Romanis often used to do that with each other, uh, communicate like a horse or communicate like a dog. Not many Romani people had cats, but uh, my great grandmother had a cat and she really used to talk to it all the time. I can't remember what its name was, but anyway. Um, I think that we can benefit by thinking hum humbly and thinking simply and thinking sincerely and thinking directly. That's how an animal behaves. That, that, that's at the forefront of everything they do. They don't worry about what they're doing. If they are meowing and asking you for their dinner, um, or as Larry does, our dog, and just keeps staring at you asking for their dinner, That that's just... That's just a simple communication that they do. But there are other things they do that we, we don't do. We make everything so complex. Uh, we embellish things, we tie ourselves up in knots with anxiety. Uh, we do things that don't warrant that sort of thing being done, if you see what I mean. We, we really do far too much to make ourselves understood and heard and seen and if we take a little leaf out of the animal's book I'm sure we can communicate a little bit better with each other then we can start sensing what an animal means I said in uh, I think it was trees I talked about the horse who came up to me and we had children with us at the time and said can you keep those children quiet they're frightening the rest of the horses and I could hear him saying that so I told the kids to shut up <laughs> and brought them further away. And I talked about the dog who licked out the sugar bowl. I think that was in trees as well. And uh, threatened me to, with not telling what she'd done when she licked out the rest of the sugar. And she was staring at me and I could hear her thinking that. Now that's more human, I suppose, in some ways, you know, being a bit uh, deceitful in, the, in, that, in that way. Animals are cunning. Animals will... Uh, try to get somewhere first, like the best cat for himself or whatever. They, they will beat each other like that. But what they don't do is they don't hold that against each other. It's all momentary. It's all uh, happening at the moment that it happens when they do something. And that's something else we humans can't do. We've got to go home, take it to bed. We've got to nurse it. We've got to go, oh, my God, something like this. And by the end of it, we've often added to the experience that's happened. We've, we've um, coloured it in, we've stretched it, we've made it bigger and better and far more dramatic. Uh, so we need to simplify, 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 become a bit more humble about it and be a bit more direct and not so polite in the sense that we're trying to save our own skin and trying to do something that we think is legitimate and passable today. Politically correct. Um, if, we're, if we're more innocent and uh, in our approach and we're more direct and we're more simple in the way we see things, we can usually uh, put ourselves over in a very clean and fresh way and people will warm to us. So, uh, yeah, that's good to kick off this uh, animal communication theme that I want to talk about. I'll talk some more about this and, and add to this video, but I'd like to thank my little model here for posing so beautifully in this. And I'm sure he's thinking, was that crazy, weird human talking behind me? <laughs> but thank you, and thanks for listening. Skiddy.